we have some strategies to get overcome some of these delays in initiation, right? Your strategy is to talk about it early on. And you same. talk about it early on. What else? I mean, you guys clearly have some other Well, we do. also need to tell them that, uh, you know, in the studies that we have shown that the insulin works well, is because we have a support system. We have a study coordinators that are pushing the titration. Educated. And then you have to do a systematic titration. Because you start with 10 units, which is totally non-threatening. If, if you even are threatened by, by 10, you can start with eight. But the point is they need to continue titrating. And we need to empower the patient to do it. And we need to make it very simple. Like for instance, we tell people that they, once they are comfortable checking the blood sugar in the morning, once, once they are comfortable uh, checking the, 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 taking the insulin, we tell them, you know, if the blood sugar is above 100 to 110, take one extra unit per a week day. or yeah. two units per week. And they can go slowly and gradually uh, titrate it. Titrating is key. If they don't do it systematically, uh, the, uh, the basal insulin ain't going to work. There's actually a study done comparing patients doing it themselves and physician office directed titration. And the patients did better. All right. Well, is this the same titration, the same as therapeutic intensification? No, 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 that's a different, different thing. That's another thing entirely. That's a different thing. What is that? Define that. Well, define is no matter what, 50% or 55% are not going to get the targets that you have chosen with the patient and so on. At one point, you need to advance the basal insulin. The thing that we have been doing wrong all these years if we have advanced by using prandial insulin before each meal or basal bolus and so on. That is way too much work for the patient, way too much work for the practicing physician. The way to go is when it times for intensification. I, I don't like intensification. I know that you are in, an intensivist and you like that word, but I don't like intensification. I like advancing therapy. Okay. When you want to advance therapy, I think that you need to use a GLP-1 receptor. Intensification I think is a term Pete, of art. Your right? question is a little broader, though. It's not just on insulin. It's with adding on any additional yes. therapy. Yes. And, and there's a different concept that has not been widely tried, which is using multiple drugs very early all together okay. so that you don't need to do this advance. And if you think about it, diseases like TB and HIV, we use combination therapy right from the start because we understand the concept of microbial drug resistance. Yeah, but the same thing applies when you have a pathophysiology of the disease that doesn't uh, do well with only one drug or two drugs. You see, Fonseca, you come back to what I said. You use metformin and SGLT2 yeah. right from the beginning. Tell me about the ADA, the AACE, the ACA guidelines. Um, what do they say about this intensification in terms of just formula, in terms of... What, what they say is not totally wrong if you followed their language, which says every three months you move ahead. The trouble is people take longer. Yeah. So the American Diabetes Association really does promote the um, stepwise use metformin, one of six meds is a second line therapy. If they aren't at goal in three months, go and add a third line therapy and eventually to insulin. Um, and in, even with insulin stepwise. Yes. And then as far as the um, AACE, they state that if a person's A1C is more than a percent above their goal, they set a goal of less than six and a half, so they say if it's seven and a half or greater, they should start with two therapies. And that's absolutely right, because we know that we do not get more than a percent. We don't even get a percent reduction. If you're starting a patient with an A1C of 7.3 or 7.4, you're not going to get down to less than 6.5. If your goal is 7, you start at 8, you're not going to get there with one drug. So absolutely doing multiple drugs at the same time will help to get the patient a goal. And studies show combination therapy from the beginning has a greater chance of getting patients to goal than doing stepwise therapy.